going to be filming a much requested video about my experience with eyelash extensions. Now if you watch my videos on a regular basis you may have seen me mention that I was getting eyelash extensions or noticed that um, I had eyelash extensions because they were fairly dramatic when I did have them. They've all fallen out now. I wanted to wait until um, I'd been through the whole cycle of losing them all and then my eyelashes growing back before I did a review because otherwise I think it's a little bit biased because obviously when you first get them put in, they're great, they look amazing, but the whole process of them falling out, you do over the course of like six weeks lose all of your eyelashes, which is natural, that's kind of the... Um, the cycle of your natural lashes anyway, but you lose all of your eyelashes and then they grow back. So, I have a little list here of pros and cons, but first of all I'm going to tell you a little bit about eyelash extensions themselves. Now if you don't know what they are, um, they are semi-permanent individual fake eyelashes that are glued onto your own eyelashes. They're not glued onto the skin, they're glued glued directly onto your own eyelashes. Now they last between four to six weeks depending on um, your natural cycle of eyelash renewal. So. Um, for different people they'll last a different amount of time. For me, personally, they looked really good for about a month and then the last two weeks they were a bit sketchy. The first two weeks are great, you don't wear mascara on them, absolutely amazing. After the two week stage I feel like they went through a bit of an awkward stage where they'd kind of, a few of them had fallen out but they looked a bit uneven and then three weeks in I feel like they then kind of evened out a little bit and they'd kind of like evenly fallen out. So week three to four I think were good and then the last few weeks obviously you have a few kind of clingers on that look a bit um, out of place because they're a lot longer than your own natural lashes. Um, it takes two hours to get them done, you have to lie on your back with your eyes shut on kind of a beautician table for two hours and I was totally spaced out after I came out from doing that because it's so weird because you're not, I guess a lot of people would fall asleep but I didn't fall asleep and you kind of just feel a little bit spaced out, you're just kind of like ooh when you get up. Um, it doesn't hurt, sometimes some people experience a little bit of tingling if they're kind of sensitive to the glue fumes, I didn't get that at all. Um, the lady that performed mine was called Kim at Lash Lab, I'll put a link in the information bar below um, if you're in kind of the London area, she's based in Brick Lane and she was absolutely amazing. Um, really really friendly, really professional, I think she did a really good job and she's kind of also stressed to me the importance of um, choosing the right length for your eyelashes as well and I naturally have quite long eyelashes. Like when I came in and she saw me she was kind of like, um, you don't really need this but I really wanted to kind of try it out so I could review it for you all as well. In terms of before and after photos, obviously I don't have them in now. I'm going to put a whole blog post on my blog with, um, I think I did when I got them done. I think I did, no I did before I got them done, I then did um, straight after I got them done, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. So you can see the actual gradual process. Yeah, so that's pretty much the whole kind of process. Definitely the pros are that it looks absolutely amazing when you get it done. It lasts a long time, so it's perfect for if you're getting married. I know a lot of people um, choose to do this when they're getting married and have it kind of for their honeymoon because you don't need to wear mascara or anything um, and it just looks amazing. Yeah, so they are the pros to getting it done as far as I'm concerned. There definitely are a few cons. Um, the first one being the obvious one is that it's really expensive. Um, where I had it done, I believe it's eighty pounds. I mean, I can't really, I can't remember if it's eighty or eighty-five. Um, you can get it a lot cheaper, but to be honest, if you're going to do it, I'd recommend um, getting it done somewhere where they specialise in it because you can get it done badly. And I've heard a few kind of not horror stories, but bad stories about having it done. I know S Walker Makeup Sarah here on YouTube um, ended up with incredibly, incredibly patchy eyebrows eyebrows, <laughs> eyelashes, um, after having it done because they kind of fell out in a kind of awkward way and she really really didn't like the experience. Personally I didn't get that but you have to be prepared for your eyelashes after they come out to be significantly shorter than they were before. They do grow back, they just take a few weeks, mine are back to normal now, um, but you do have to be prepared for them to be a little bit shorter than um, you normally are used to having them. So. That's definitely a con, so they do damage your lashes. Um, another one is that you do have to be careful when you're removing eye makeup, so when you have eyeshadow and stuff on, um, you have to be careful not to get, um, not to rub them. Also, you can't use kind of oil-based removers and things like that on them because it breaks down the glue. Something that I found really useful that I have here is um, the Johnson's Daily Essentials Gentle Eye Makeup Removal Pads, which is a mouthful, but basically they're... Um, just like cotton pads preloaded with makeup remover which I know is lazy but um, 
I find it much easier than using face wipes because they're more precise obviously because they're smaller and thicker you can really kind of get in to get the makeup off your lower lashes and your waterline and get your mascara off without kind of rubbing your eyelashes too much and you don't have to kind of get your eye makeup remover out and put it on the pack. I really really like those, that's kind of a side note there. Um, but that's definitely a con is that um, they are kind of a pain to have to like go around if you're really tired at night you can't just like rub your eyes um, or anything like that which is probably good in terms of wrinkles and stuff but um, sometimes you know when you just have an itchy eye or whatever they do get a bit annoying and the last thing I have to say that I um, found disappointing about them is that I really missed mascara when I had them and I know it sounds silly because the whole point of them is that your eyelashes look amazing without mascara but um, Personally, I really miss mascara when you can't wear it, and I miss trying stuff out because I try out so much makeup all the time. Mascara is definitely one, if not my favourite, makeup product, and I really miss being able to use it. And towards the end, I did start using mascara again, and then using non-oil-based um, remover to take it off, because when your eyelashes start to kind of half fall out, they look a bit uneven, so I did start using, probably about week three or four, start using mascara again, um, just to even them out, which was okay, I mean it makes them fall out quicker when you're taking it off, but I think it's kind of necessary um, towards the last three weeks. I think that's pretty much it. So that is it for my eyelash extension review. I hope some of you found it useful if you're thinking about getting them yourselves. Like I said, they're definitely absolutely amazing for special occasions if you're getting married, if you're going on a long holiday. I think they're great, but in terms of a long-term kind of solution to getting amazing lashes, I wouldn't do it because they're very, very damaging to your lashes. So um, for a special occasion, they're brilliant, and I think they do have their place for that. So I really, really liked my experience with them, and I definitely recommend them for um, that kind of thing, especially weddings. So I hope you guys found this review useful. Next thing I'm going to be reviewing kind of eyelash-wise is going to be um, LVL. Now, if you don't know what LVL is, it's basically um, semi-permanent curling of your eyelashes so that they kind of stay sticking straight up all the time. I don't know if that kind of made sense. Yeah, so hopefully I'm going to be doing a review of that next over the summer. So look out for that. Also, I'll put a link in the information bar below to my blog post with all the before and after pictures of my eyelash extensions, so be sure to go and check that out as well. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!